Okay, so am I on the screen? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so um, alcohol addiction, food addiction, sex addiction, and, what, and, uh, and also 12-step programs. Okay, so in, generally speaking, in, in programs like Alcoholics Anonymous, uh, we you sort of say, stop the alcohol and never drink the alcohol. Um, even in, um, in certain food... 12-step fellowships, it might be to avoid certain foods like sugar or, or sh for sugar addiction. However, um, what about, um, uh, what, what about uh, things like... Now, here's the thing, and the Course in Miracles is one of the best ways to answer it. Um, the Course in Miracles is talking about transcendence of the limiting beliefs within the world. Hello. So, sure. so if you if you cancel your belief in something, then one can have it um, and it will have no effect. So you can have alcohol, but that's a very you'd have to totally cancel your belief. Twelve steps doesn't teach that. Um, however, if you were in a twelve step program because it, w it wouldn't be useful to talk about it because it would be, it's, it's not really the thing it's not the teachings within that program don't allow you to do also, so you can actually cancel your belief in the, in the adverse effects of alcohol and be able to drink it with it having no addictive effect it being in fact neutral um, you'd have to do the cancellation of beliefs on it but it, I wouldn't say it would be appropriate to do that, to talk about that within a 12-step context, because the teachings of that is it's a contained philosophy to abstain. Um, also, in terms of um, in terms of you could cancel your belief in sugar and and eat sugar. Now, here's the thing, and also sex. So the thing with addiction, there's a few different things. There's cancelling of beliefs, and there is the energy of addiction. Like when when you're in when you're when you're not in very high states of consciousness, you get an addictive hit from doing the activity. Mm. Once your field of spiritual consciousness is higher than that which the, you used to get from being at a lower level from the hit, the thing becomes neutral or non-addictive. Okay? Mm. So let's say my, my level of consciousness is I'm feeling feel depressed all the time, and I eat a donut and I feel happy for five minutes then I become addicted to donuts. But if I do spiritual work and I'm in ecstasy all, every day because I'm in a very high state of spirituality, then donuts don't give me a fix, you see. So when you get to high spiritual states, things become non-addictive. The thing with the beliefs, like if I believe something will give me an allergy, then every time I do the thing, it will give me an allergy. But if I cancel my belief, like in hangovers, or in sugar addictions, then it no longer has the effect. So it depends what, you know, like 12-step programs have certain limitations, but higher things, but also once you are aligned with... Oh, hi. Hello. Hi, welcome. Hello. welcome. Oh, hi. <coughs> once you're um, aligned with higher... Welcome. Once you're aligned with higher vibrations, then, you know, things become non-addictive and non-destructive. But also there's another level to it, which is once once you're in tune with the spirit of the universe, once you're in the oneness, you know, it's like the oneness doesn't need to brag like, you know, like I can have 10 bottles of vodka and not be affected, you know, or I can take ecstasy just to show other people that it doesn't affect me. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're, you're one with the wisdom of the universe, so that kind of bragging, like the ego goes, I'll cancel my belief in vodka so I can go to a bar and drink as much water, it's, it's, just not, it's just not an aspect of what the universal wisdom would be having you do. So there's no point in like cancelling your belief in alcohol to brag about it, you know. And also if you were in a 12-step fellowship, you know, in the context of being helpful, it's not really useful to be talking about higher spiritual teachings within that field because it just wouldn't be in the interest of the highest good. 
because that field is supporting the lives of many people. So to say the teachings are incorrect is not is wouldn't be appropriate in that context. Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm.